Somebody raise a voice and bless his name. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and exalt the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. And I know July to December will be months of testimonies in the name of Jesus. I love that I know we give you glory. And let me read, we magnify your name, God. She was low, yeah, Let's just worship the name of the Lord wherever we are. If you're watching us online, just lift your voices wherever you are and just magnify the name of the Lord. Right here in this building, we can feel the presence of God. Lord, we bless your name. Can we just shout back the name of our Father? Exalt the name of Jesus. Don't wait for any song to be sung. Just bless the name of the Lord from your heart. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Can we magnify the name of Jesus? He is highly lifted up. He says that if I be lifted up on earth, I will draw all men to me. Can we magnify the name of our Father? <laughs> Lati ba o go Se bi wolo ye oluwa iwolo ye Iwolo ye lati ba o go Iwolo ye oluwa iwolo e ka do subahan Iwolo ye lati ba o go can we make this pledge to our father make this pledge to your maker this moment all on me I want him to see Titi Ayeo Lord Amori Je Oluwa Lord Amori Mu Oluwa Lord Amori Mighty, mighty God, and I worship you today. I give you all the praise as I lift my voice to you with pleasures in my heart. Oh, I raise my voice to say everything written about you. Is great. If she can do, I worship you today. I give you all the praise as I lift my hands to you. Oh, with pleasure in my heart, I raise my voice to say, Everybody raise the voice and say, Everything written about. Jesus, be glorified. 
Nakata Bakuri Abalahandi. Sing it one more time. Sing it you are great. You are great. For he has done so very much for me He has forgiven me all my sins And sent the Holy Ghost to me I love the man of Galilee Do you love the man? I love the Glorious in all dimensions, you are beautiful beyond description, you are excellent in all your dealings. I bow before Can we call him glorious God? Glorious God, beautiful oh, I, 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 I bow We bow before your throne, worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. We bow before your throne. Worship at your feet. Worship. Bow before your throne. We bow before you. We worship at your feet. We 
We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. We bow before your throne. Bow before. We worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. Bow before. You are the glorious God. Don't stop. We bow before your throne. We worship at your feet, Yahweh. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious What did you think about everything that he has promised you this year? Everything he has promised you from the beginning of your lifetime. The Bible says once has he spoken and twice have I heard that all power belongs to God. Don't doubt your father. He says that unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above. All we could ever ask or think of according to the power that worketh within us. Ketapalo koshiaba. Can you confess? Just sing it from the from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Whatever you say you do, no promise fails. Hallelujah. One more time. Declare with understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Obala Obala La Obala Ejo woki ni Jesu she la ye ati lorun o be ogo ari ogo alade ogo ma wole alade ogo ma wole use your imagination and see kini Jesu ye se o o be ogo ari ogo o be ogo ari ogo alade ogo ma wole o alade come on come on Somebody give the Lord praise, give the Lord praise, give the Lord praise. Can we bless the Lord a little in this house? Oh, Lord, they are fair. Ele runi, dadi mi o, oh, no, no, I die. Ah, mo, ma, be, o, ga. Jesu, oh, Badai no ni o, ele buru ike. Ato para si bi oke ele runi. Aye ra ye to menwa wonu shoko olonu a dala ye o dadi mi mo. Eba mi kari olore ope o. Anu ati ore ofe o, anu agbaye, mo ma be oga o, mo be oga. O na na, eba mi bega, eba mi bega, eba mi bega, eba mi be Jesuga o, oba olo, eba mi bega, eba mi bega, eba mi bega, eba mi bega. Ejo le ife ato para ti bi oke ani eba mi bega eba mi be de suga o oba olola eba mi be eba mi bega eba mi bega eba mi be de 
Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, I did I get on Ben Wamor, and Bobby, and Bobby, and Bobby, and Bobby, and Like 
Exalt him, exalt him, worship Jesus. Shabak his name. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Is the hell or him? Is the hell shall die? Just bless his name, bless his name. I bless you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God. If you can just take your time, sing it. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord, you are Just worship God wherever you are right now. I want you to adore him. He is the king of kings. The ancients of days. The lions of Judah. Give him praise for giving you another opportunity to witness the second half of the year. Don't forget on the 31st of December 2019, we are all gathered together to make declaration of what will happen in 2020. Don't forget your New Year revolution. Don't forget your declaration for this year. You and your family, you declare sources. You declare breakthrough. You declare success in all areas. You declare breakthrough, promotions, good heads. But suddenly, we find ourselves in this position that COVID-19 visited the whole country, the whole world. But let me tell you, I have a good news for you today. If you can worship God, if you can praise Him, if you can give him his own adoration, this second half of the year, all your declaration will come to pass. All what you have said before God, 31st of 1st, January 2020, everything will come to pass. Because it is God. He will never fail. Let me explain to you very well. COVID-19, is a blessing in disguise. And I know God will visit your family. Don't lose hope at this right. At this time, don't lose hope. I want you to believe that if you have missed it in January to June, that you have failed in January to June, you have difficulties from January to June. But I'm, I'm telling you today that in this July, your promotion has come. Everything will be restored back. So shall it be. Thank you, everlasting God. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You want to bless the name of the Lord? For the great opportunity we have today. I want to appreciate all our viewers. Especially those of you that followed us last time. I want to bless the name of the Lord for giving you another grace to witness the second half of the year. Let me tell you, there are blessings for you. God has a good package for you. So don't lose hope. Your testimony is now. Your testimony is now. We are in the month of perfection. And I know God will perfect all that concerns you. No matter your condition, no matter the problem you are facing, no matter the condition we are facing in this country, our problem will be over very soon. And this is the month that God will surprise you. So shall it be to your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you, wherever you are, I want you to believe that there's going to be a change. A sudden change will happen. And it will happen in your family. Amen. Let me tell you the problem we are facing all over the world right now is we, we ignore the great physician. All over the world, we ignore our great physician. COVID-19 came to destroy and to steal our joy. But instead of us to run to our maker, but we lock down the church. We lock down every worship center. Let me explain to you. Anytime problems happen in the city, in the scripture, the first person they ask is God. You need to ask God and ask God for your solution. But it is a pity that our leaders forgot Forget to ask God. They neglected God, but they are seeking for their own knowledge. The first person they were asking is the physician. They located the physician and they, are, they located all the scientists. Please give us solution. But till now, there is no solid solution. Whereby we have our God. Our God is a great physician who have all the solutions. It is a pity. Let me explain to you. Let me quickly quote from uh, Second, Second, Second Kings. Amen. In the book of Second Kings, chapter 2, when God took Elijah and the double portion of power of Elijah fell upon Elisha, people didn't recognize Elisha when he was with Elijah. But immediately people noticed that Elisha has been given the double portion of the anointing of Elijah. Immediately, people came to him. They told him the situation of the country. Let me explain. They told Elisha that there is a problem in the city. I am quoting from 2 Kings chapter 2, from verse 19 to you. They located Elisha. Look at what scripture says. Let's quickly read it. Amen. Verse 19, Second Kings chapter 2, verse 19. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord said, but the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said unto them, Bring me a new cross, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him, and he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there and say thus says the Lord I have eaten these waters there shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the first person I expected us to go to is God. But we neglected God. We thought we have all it takes to do it. Let me shock you. The Lord is watching. Until we connect with him, there won't be a solution. But I pray to all the saints, all our fathers in the Lord, 
the Lord sees your heart and the way you devoted all the time for him, I know he will hear this line in the name of Jesus. Amen. I believe in God right now. And I know July to December will be months of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for you because I don't have much time. My time is fast, man. Let me tell you, whatsoever that is difficulties, any difficulties in your life, I pray that Lord turn it around in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for someone today that people thought you cannot be somebody in life. They've neglected you. They've even write you off. Let me tell you, they will give you a new name. Amen. A new name. Amen. That will change your status. Amen. Let me tell you, if somebody just got married, especially a woman, they call him Iyawo, wife. If the person didn't born, thank God for men. If they call Oko Iyawo, Oko Iyawo doesn't last for long. But the name Iyawo can last for 20 years if the woman doesn't have fruit of the womb. The name can last for 10 years. Because they will keep calling him, calling her Ijawo. I am telling you today, every name that is that does not glorify God in your life, that Lord remove them from your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. That Lord is giving you a new name as from today in the name of Jesus. People will call you honorable in the name of Jesus. People will call you good names in the name of Jesus. They will call you names. Names that we share the whole world in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. I say no more sorrow in your family. Amen. No more sorrow in your family. Amen. It is a pity that so many families face a lot of things this year. But I pray as from this moment, this second half, I said no more sorrow in your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well. It is well with this country. Amen. It is well with our soul. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody raise your voice and bless Jesus. Lift your voice and exalt the name of Jesus. I love that I know we give you glory. And let me we magnify your name, God. 